Before I start this video, I want to personally thank you guys very much for having me down at Too Many Games. Honestly, it was a phenomenal experience that I have had and everything. And, you know, this vacation was definitely what I needed. And I feel much more refreshed, very inspired to be recording more videos. And you know what? I'm very glad I got to go down. So thank you, everybody, for having me down at Too Many Games. And... Let's get to this video, shall we? Coming at you from the area just north of the Commonwealth, Chris here, Sonic Zero Sub 31 with you. What is happening, guys? Welcome to Bomb Squad Academy. Now, this is one of the games that I had the pleasure of trying out over at Too Many Games this past weekend. And I gotta say, Jean Simone, uh, the creator of the game, uh, you'll see his picture at the end of the video and everything. Real nice guy excellent job in this game and I wanted to show you guys what the game is all about so basically you're a bomb diffuser and you're trying to figure out which path goes where so we're gonna begin off with a new game here and uh, we're gonna continue on with this because I was definitely inspired at how well this game was made so let's get into a new game right here. Welcome to the Academy. Let's jump right in and review the basics of electronics. Electrical current flows from circuit to circuit, just like water. Well, that's very interesting to know. We're learning science here at the Academy. Oh boy! Batteries are current sources. They will always supply current to connected components. Switches can control the flow of current. The switch is preventing the current from reaching the buzzer try flipping the switch no oh, all right great the current now flows to the buzzer as you can painfully hear yes that's getting very annoying now turn the switch off so we can continue all right leds are small lights that turn on when current flows through them they can help you quickly see the state of a connection well that's going to help us out a whole bunch here so, see if you can turn all the LEDs on. Alright, well, we got this one. Da -do, da -do, and dirt. Great, you're getting the hang of this. Alright. Oh, crap! Okay, now we've got a bomb. Well, this is interesting. Oh my god! What is this? It looks dangerous. Well, no shit. There's a bomb right in front of me. This box is some kind of detonation controller. You have to disarm the timer before it runs out. Don't worry, though. There is plenty of time on the clock for us to go over how it works. Yeah, we got about 4 minutes and 30 seconds to figure this thing out. I DON'T WANNA DIE! Look, this device has four pins. One is the power pin, and one detonate pin, and two disarm pins. Alright, very interesting. So, be careful. This detonation pin will trigger the bomb immediately. Well, we don't want to do that. To disarm it, you need to activate pin A and pin B. You can also cut the power together, but that's not possible in this case. Because the power pin is connected directly to the battery, which apparently looks like it's uh, bolted in. So, oh jeez. Go ahead, try to disarm the bomb. Well, first, um, we know that this is on. So we'll turn that on. Turn this on. Well, that didn't work. Now, did it? Let's try this again. This box is... You have to disarm before the timer... Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we get that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what did I do wrong? What did I... Oh! I see what I did wrong. I forgot to turn off the, uh... Detonate switch. Oh, how silly of me. Oh, jeez. Alright, so that's the detonate. So as long as this is off, that's fine. Um, so we're going to turn that on. The current flows right to A. B is right here. And Hubdoski. Okay, good job. Just always remember to check the detonate pin. Always remember to check the detonate pin. Well, could have told me that the first time. <laughs> Alright, this is your first real test. Good luck. Oh. So we're actually doing this. Uh, well. Huh. 
Oh, congratulations, you've defused your first bomb. Well, clearly I thought, um, that was actually gonna go off. Here, here's the thing, because if you were to turn this on, the current would have flown over here, but there's no switch over here. So you would have gotten C, but you have also gotten detonate as well. So that's very good to remember. Okay, get ready for your second challenge. Good luck. Okay. All right. Oh, we got LED messages. Hurry! So let's check the detonation pin. We've got this path right here. Well, that's not supposed to be on. We've got... We got A, we got B, and C. All right. Well done. You flipped all the right switches. All right. Moving on. Let's get to the next level. That was great. Now try this one. All right. Holy shit. Now, now this, as you go through the game, it's going to get a little bit more confusing. You've got all these paths, twists, and turns, and everything, and you'll see later on in the game that it gets real tricky all right so we got the detonate pin right here we're gonna turn that off uh turn that on turn that on turn this on that goes to c and i'm not flipping that switch um let's go with that that and that there we go okay Congratulations, you are a hero today. Well, just doing my civic duties. Sometimes you'll see boards with wires. See, see, this is where it gets a little bit confusing because you'll have like a mess of wires to roll around with. Everything. Wires, wires work just like traces. They allow the current to flow from one component to another. However, small wires like these can be cut. Go ahead, turn all four LEDs off. All right, well, we've got wire cutters here. We've got that wire, that wire, that wire, and that wire. Okay, excellent. But remember, just because you can cut a wire doesn't mean you always should, especially when, especially because you cannot uncut a wire. So once it's cut, there's no further action that you can do. We'll start things off slowly. See if you can defuse this bomb. Well, according to this, it is QC pass, so it must mean it's official. Way to go! Caution, exothermic reaction initiation device not valid for training purposes. Then what is it doing here at the academy? So we've got this switch right here. And that's it. Okay, how did I just die? How did I just... Oh! I see what's going on. I didn't check the wire. Duh. So, as you guys can see, the battery f with the current flows over to the switch. Hitting this. Not only just hitting B for the disarm pin. It will also tell you to cut the wire. So, as we follow the wire along, it would connect up to here, go all the way around, and then badoomski. Yeah, sorry, you just died. Well, luckily, we're here at the academy, so we're here to learn. <laughs> so, and no, this is not a uh, real academy. Let's cut the wire. We'll turn that on and that on. Oh, excellent. You did things in the correct order. All right. How about this mess of wire? Hmm. All right, so we want to... Cut here. Cut there. Right there and there. All right. Congratulations. You have just finished the first section of the game. Well, I feel very honored. Okay. So that was the basic of electronics right there. Off to logic gates. Now, we're going to end the video at the end of logic gates. All right. Let's look at our first logic gate. This red component here is an AND gate. 
The AND gate only lets current flow through it if both inputs have current flowing in. Okay, so you've got like a fork in there and it combines it to one. It's merging the currents all together and everything. So try for yourself. All right, so we'll turn that on. We'll turn that on. Great, now you're ready to do some work. Okay, let's test your understanding. Diffuse the bomb. Okay, so we've got this switch, which will diffuse it. We've got that one. Well, not all switches will work. A fuse or defuse, however you want to say it, defuse the bomb. Okay. So, okay. So the end switch is right there, and this is with the detonation pin. What I like to do, as far as I've seen, is follow the detonation pin first. So that's the big thing right there. So we've got to turn that off turn that on and so we get the and switch for B get the and switch for a and boom there well done you kept the detonate pin from getting triggered well that's very good very good to know all right next level this board Next board has a lot of switches. Maybe you should flip them all. Let's see. We've got power going through here. We got power going through here. Let's There's B. I see what you're doing there. Class B detonation device used with extreme care when handling. Well. Okay. Good. The last board was pretty straightforward. Here's a slightly more challenging bomb. Okay. Well, well that's a different tone to hear. Mm. Alright. So we've got... <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's not switch that on again. We'll switch that on. Switch. Good. Why is it saying good right there? It's obviously a bomb. Bombs aren't good. 20 seconds left. Oh, crap. We gotta get a move on. Uh... Oh. Okay. 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 You're doing fine. This board will really challenge you, I guarantee. But don't panic. You can do it. Okay, all right. So we've got we've got the wires in here, as you guys can see. Uh, I'm gonna turn that on. You sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. Let's. Uh... Oh crap. Uh... All right, this is a little tricky here. Uh oh. Um, I think I think I just screwed up. Oh no! Sorry, you did not defuse the bomb. Oh crap! All right, don't panic. You can do it. Okay, so I think I screwed up right there. Is there a restart? 
There is a restart. Okay, cool. Thanks, John. John. Uh, however you say your name, but... Okay. How on earth do you do this? Oh, okay, so it was just one wire that we had to cut right there. Okay, see, I told you you could do this. Okay, let me just... Okay, now I see what we're doing. All right, next level. Okay, so all right, let's check out a couple other components. These guys are rotary switches. Rotary switches allow you to select which the path the current takes. Try to turn the display on. Okay, well, let's... uh. Well, let's diffuse that real quick. We don't need the wire. It doesn't look like it's connected to anything, so we're just going to snip that off. And let's turn on the display. You rock! You do indeed. Aw, oh, thank you. Try to get the signal across from the in port to the out port. All right. Well. Yeah, let's just... Get that out of the way real quick. And we're going to go this way, this way, and awesome. The signal is getting through. It's flashing. Is that a good thing that's flashing? Rotary switches are pretty fun. Let's see if you can figure out this maze. Okay. Another bomb that we got to go through. Okay. So that doesn't look important. That doesn't look important. You know, just for shits and giggles here um look man no fingers that one made me jump a little bit <laughs> holy crap all right let's see Rotary switches are pretty fun. Okay, so what did I do? Oh, I see what I did wrong. Okay, so we're going to turn on the and switch. And, well, we're going to keep that there. We're going to snip these here, snip this here. going to snip that there. Wait a minute, I think we'll go with that, that, hey, there we go. Nicely done. Order of operations is everything. All right. Choose your path. Okay. Danger. Keep away from flames or students. Well, I'm a student. I'm at the academy. You know what? I'm not actually going to touch this. It says keep away from flames or students. Don't think I'm going to disarm it. Okay, fine. Fine. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Well, that's not going to do anything. We just only had to turn off the switch. Oh, can you disarm this bomb? I don't know. Can I? Let's see. What? <laughs> nope. This thing looks really dangerous. Well, no kidding. And gate test device for qualified testers only. I guess I'm considered a qualified tester. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna... Oh, the and switch. Okay. And... Wait a minute. Mm. 
Okay. Let me see. I think I may have screwed up. Hold on a second. A, B, uh, C. You are dead. We're all dead. You put me to work here, John. You are put me to work. All right. Oh, here we go. All right, you defused the bomb. Well done. Good luck on this section's final current. It is particularly tricky. Split the currents. Okay, so we got the power going here. Detonation. Okay, C's connected. No, that's going to stay right over there. Okay. Nope. Alright, let's go up here first. want to keep power away from this and device so let's cut that okay that goes to a what goes to B I think I may have screwed up here. Hold on. Um, that goes to A, that goes to B. Oh, here we go. All right. If completed the first section on digital logic and everything. Hooray! All right. So I'm going to cut it there. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Greatly appreciate it. I'm going to continue on with more of this game because this is one fantastic game that really inspired me while I was down at Too Many Games. So special thanks to Jean Simone. Very glad to meet you, by the way. Uh, if you guys have any more suggestions on what I should try out, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Sonic0731. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!